not up there. I'm Man, up there. I, I tell people, so there's a part of my life where I sobered up and I got off a bunch of stuff. And I, I social distanced myself for about a year. Yeah, he went off of everything and stuff. So all these people complaining about it. I'm yeah. telling them, like, "Hey, man, I did this. This is just another day for me." Yeah, that was exactly the same because all my friends were using drugs. So it was like you literally, if all your friends are using drugs, you had to. Oh yeah, that's what I had to do. I had to. I had to stop going out. I, I instead of going out to places, I just slept and self isolated. So. Yeah. Uh, what are so how's training going for you? Training is actually really good. These home workouts have helped more than I thought, to be honest. Like, I'm still sore from my chest workout the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's been a lot of fun, though. Um, bands are incredible pieces of equipment when utilized. No, dude, I agree. I definitely – I did a – I worked out the other day, but I did face pulls, and I did – I was, like, sore like I couldn't – it was crazy. Yeah. Um, are you, do you have any barbells or anything at your house or you're only doing me? No, um, I have a couple kettlebells. I don't actually use them as often as I thought I would. Um, really focusing even outside or outside of my home gym, inside of the real gym when I'm training with clients and stuff, I do a lot of triphasic training. And what that is, it basically breaks down any compound movement and focuses on the eccentric, the concentric, and the isometric. And when you do that in correlation with band work, it makes things really, really spicy. And you get a lot out of it when you're able – it basically just means like pauses and like tempo work and stuff like that. That's triphasic training. So a lot of you guys out there that are doing those tempo works and stuff like that, you're actually doing a really sophisticated theory of uh, – yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I so that's all I have. yeah, I uh, you've used the word spicy multiple times. In your yeah, video, and I love that word. <laughs> yeah, it's just a simple way to say something's really hard. Yeah, spicy, so, and it makes sense. Yeah. So, are you doing like, are you doing having like a leg day and a chest day, or are you doing all of them on and you just rotate? No. Yeah. Um. So, like every week, I'm of course trying to provide content for people and stuff, trying to get. Uh, make things different every single week. Um, but, yeah, basically I like to focus on, like, a lower body day, a squat day. Some people would say, like, a leg day. And then focusing on a back day, a shoulder day, and a chest day. And then even, like, a posterior deadlift deadlift day. Um, and then creating variations. Like, today after I get, I get done with this interview, I'm going to be doing a back workout, for instance. And it's going to be different than the back workout I did last week. So, yeah, yeah so it's it's a revolving door. But I, I still got my basics, and I still stick down to my fundamentals when it comes to what I like to train with. Yeah. One thing I've found difficult is training. Like, it's really hard to train deadlift. Yeah. When you – like, you – there's like one thing to do. Definitely. Yeah. You deadlift. Do yeah. a bunch of squats or things like that, but you cannot. You can't replace especially it. Especially if your deadlift's above a couple hundred pounds, you're like, yeah. you're not really able to replicate that. Yeah, I, I may need a small car to replicate my, uh, the near 90%. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I think it's one of those things where we just have to like not let it bum us out because we don't have an option. No, no, it's not at all. Man. I, I'm. I'm a little more positive than yeah. I thought I would be right now about the whole thing. And like I said, I, I've spent a, I spent a part of my life years ago isolating myself. And in that time, I was able to focus on myself and um, really, really just be grateful for the time. You know what I mean? A little bit more spare time. I've been painting more and stuff like that, though. Granted, there's a global pandemic right now, but at the same time... And, there's a lot of uh, – everybody – any any really bad traumatic experience, you should always be trying to find the positive side of everything. So, Yeah, and I think one thing that can help is, like, stuff like this because we're literally not – We're what? We're not, we're not, I said stuff like this can help a lot, like mm -hmm. us talking on a video type. Yeah, of course, yeah. I Actually, I'd love to do this more often and stuff because I know everybody at home, especially just the few people that are watching this right now, I know you guys got plenty of time. Everyone's <laughs> right. doing that right now to get some content and it's good it's good to see that it's it what what gives me a peace of mind during this whole entire thing right now is the whole world is experiencing this you know what i mean um we're not alone in the sense that it's it's all right it sucks that it's happening but everybody's everybody's dealing with it right now so it makes it gives me a little more peace of mind that um i'm not the only one that's got to put up with this